Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Vin Chanya. Welcome to the Vinci Clothing Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a turtleneck collar or a half collar or a bishop collar, depending on how you call it. Well, this is what I mean. Like the one I'm wearing on this video, this is the collar we are going to learn how to draft today. Okay, so without further ado, let us get into it. I'm going to be using a cardboard paper, as you can see. But if you are drafting this, you, should, you can just go ahead and draft it directly on your um, collar gun. All right. But for this tutorial, I'll be using this paper. So let's assume that the collar we are drafting is 18 inches. You are going to divide your 18 inches by two, which is nine inches. So you are going to mark. First of all, you should draw a line that is perpendicular to this line. What perpendicular means is that the line create the line you are drawing should create a right angle triangle to this folding we need here. That means it shouldn't be like this. You see this bent. It shouldn't be like this. It's bent. It should be straight, directly straight like this. Okay. So just show the line and then you mark nine which is 18 divided that the, the, the um, circumference of the neck divided by two in this case which is 18 it's nine so we are going to mark nine and also we are going to mark the half of it this is the half of it which is 4.5 okay now from here there are people who cut their colors this type of half color they cut it all straight like this which is be wrong if you cut your color straight so let me just do a, a, a little diagram here you know the person's neck connected to shoulder is like this right this is the person's neck if you cut it straight this way it is just going to come like this and stand like this because it's straight it didn't give you room to to lie on this part you understand so you need to curve it in a way that will, you can see the way mine is just look at this. You can see the way it's lying down on my neck. It's fitting to my neck, perfectly fitting to my neck. That is how it should be. It shouldn't be standing like this. It should lie like this and like this. You can see, the, you can literally see the curve. So if you know you are part of the people who cut their collars straight like this, you should stop it. Another reason is if you open your collar, if you fit, it. If you do it the way I'm about to teach you, you can open your collar and you can see it. it's still curved. So I can just open it and if it's open, but then it's curved as though it's not open. That is why I'm that's what I'm about to teach you right now. Okay, so what you're going to do now is depending on the level of curve you, of how fitted you want it to be, the, the more curve you put, the more bend is going to be like the more. Firm, the more um, fitting is going to be to your neck okay now you don't want to you don't want to cover it too much i don't want to cover it too little okay so what i what i will recommend is about 1.5 inch is enough for your curve okay so let's see 1.5 inch so i'll mark 1.5 inch here and i'm going to use my curve just okay so let me just leave that now the size of your collar you can put it one inch you can put it one point one and one inch you can put it one point two five depending on the size of the collar you want to do in fact you can make it one point five if you want depending on how fat you want your collar to be for this tutorial i'm going to be using one inch so you just mark it all around intervals not too far from each other you can see that so here's a straight line so we're just going to use a straight line to rule it and here we can just So here, to draw this line, I'm going to draw a line that's perpendicular to this again, this way. You can see me, I'm using, there's a straight line here. I don't know if you can see, there's a straight line here. 
that's the line I'm using to get the perpendicular line. So I'll just put it this way. So and I'll roll it. And then I can just decide to use my free hand to create a curve. And see that. I'll just use my free hand to create a curve. And this is it. Basically, that is how to draft a color. So let me just cut it so that we'll see the outcome. See how it is. You can see how you can see how it is. You see it. You see how curved it just readily curved. So this is how to cut. You can see how it is. It's not. It's not straight. It's curved a little bit. You can see that. So by the time you turn it. You see how here is lying down, it's not standing straight, it's curved somehow. I don't know if that's clear enough, I don't know, or see it. You see what I mean? So this is how to cut your core life. If you're struggling with it, this is how to go about it. I'm pretty sure fixing it is not going to be a problem. However, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to fix it.